What's going on guys? It's your boy JFT back with you guys for another results video for Dana White's Contender Series week number nine. We had five fights on the card. One women's strawweight fight, four men's fight, a couple of bantamweight contests, a light heavyweight and a welterweight fight. And we open up with the bantamweights, two undefeated fighters, Ricky Steele coming in at 5-0, and five and, oh, and then Phil Caracappa coming in at 8-0. and oh. These two actually had a very, very good fight. Both guys were rocked at one point in the fight. Ricky seemed to land more damage in the fight, and that's what the judges agreed upon. Ricky Steele earned a split decision victory. Dana White, even though, came out and said he didn't think it was a split decision. He definitely thought Ricky Steele won the fight. Didn't know what the judge that decided Phil won the fight was on. I thought it was much closer. I might have even edged Phil for the third round, and that was the round that probably was split between the judge's decision-making. But nonetheless, from this fight, both guys pretty young. Both guys starting to accumulate experience at this point in their careers. Ricky Steele had been off for a long time. At 5-0, improving to 6-0, Dana White said he needs a couple more fights before he earns that UFC contract. And then we get to the women's, the sole women's fight on the card. Mallory Martin takes on an Italian, Nicole Disegni. Mallory Martin showed that she's a 10 out of 10 wrestler, and Nicole didn't impress in that area, and that's what really decided the fight. On the feet, it was pretty split. Mallory Martin probably landed around 5-6 to six takedowns, dominated on the ground positions, dominated... After she took her down, dominated, and even when McColl got the fight back to the feet, Mallory would just put her back down, put her back on her back, get her into even some crucifixes, dirty elbows, close punches. Great fight for Mallory Martin. Still, though, another young fighter, only 25 years old. Dana came out and specifically pointed that out at 4-2 and two coming in, improving to 5-2. and two. Another fighter who probably is going to go back to Invicta and stack up a couple more wins before we see her in the UFC. But still, I'm not going to lie, very, very impressive performance and then we get to one that i had a little bit of i had a little bit of difficulty with dana white hates when people miss weight for good reason you don't want to miss weight when this is your chance to make the ufc steve garcia jr came in three and a half pounds over the 135 pound limit but went in there and put on a great performance a great show with desmond torres who came in i think was three days notice to fight his former training partner in a fight that went four minutes and 35 seconds into the first round. Both guys trading. Steve got the advantage with two uppercuts and then just went on the attack and finished Desmond. Just didn't give Desmond room to breathe. And Desmond finally fell and was finished. Steve Garcia got the finish victory in the first round. But Dana White came up in the contract ceremony, came up and said, you didn't earn it for me. You didn't earn it for me because you missed weight. You can't come on this show and miss weight. Even after saying he looked so good in the fight. Dana also said he might want to see Steve Garcia move up to 145. We'll see where it goes from there. I think we might see Steve Garcia as one of those guys that gets as a late replacement in the UFC. I think his next fight, my prediction is his next fight will be in the UFC. Then we get to another fight with a little bit of controversy. Jamal Pogus takes on Marcus Bregago. Bregago, I don't know. Can't pronounce that name exactly correct. Marcos comes in at 11-0. Jamal comes in at 6-2. Jamal put on a three-round beating. A three-round great performance. And Marcos doesn't deserve anything but respect because that guy came out and fought and just took stuff with tons of heart. He fought, be he fought not beautifully, but he fought to impress a lot of people. He definitely impressed a lot of people. But Jamal, the way he fought was just pure domination. 30-27. I could even argue it was a 30-26. Jamal wins the fight, but then he goes out and talks to Dana, and Dana says again, this is the third time Dana said this on this card, too young, needs to get more experience, at 7-2, and two, he needs to go work with his team, Joe Daddy Stevenson, one of his role models, one of Jamal's role models, Joe Daddy Stevenson, who's had UFC experience, go back to that team, get some more experience under the belt, you'll be in the UFC one day, you have a lot of potential to be great and then we get to the main event, the only, the sole contract of the night. Two welterweights, two tall welterweights. I was joking about it before the fight. These guys have like a combined win, like their wins, their opponents in those fights have a combined record of like 20, like 35 and 80 in their wins. And even the guys that they've lost to have gone on to lose a bunch of fights. So that was a turnoff for me. But in the fight, Philip Rowe went in and impressed against Shabazian. Philip Rowe got rocked at the start in the first round, but then came back in the second round to rock Shabazian. And then in the third round, in only 16 seconds in the first round, was able to finish the fight off. Philip Rowe earns a contract because Philip Rowe comes from a good camp. He's got good age behind him. He's coming into his prime at 29 years of age at this point. 
So we're probably going to see Philip Rowe in the very, very near future in that welterweight UFC division. I wouldn't think that he's not going to get starched. My prediction, he's going to get starched in his first fight. But we're going to have to wait and see for that one. If you guys enjoyed the results videos coming to you live real quick, right after the events, always, all the time, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want more results, UFC, MMA, kickboxing, all that great stuff, more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to Combat Sports Central. But that'll do it for me. Peace out, guys.